It is true that there must be several transitional species out there representing at least the major lineages, and you would want to verify whether or not they exist. Okay, let's verify. Mm -hmm. If evolution is true, certainly there should be a proliferation of fossil evidence out there that says so. Let's go to Wikipedia. It's a great place to start for authority. If we go to Wikipedia, under fossil, we want to look for amazing fossil finds that support evolution, right? A fish, petrified wood. We still have trees today. We still have fish today. Virtually just like this. Sea creatures just like this. Scroll down and look at, oh, a fossilized shrimp just like this today. And we have a petrified pine cone. Says it was found in the Jurassic period, 210 million years ago. But I tell you, I've got pine cones like this in my backyard. They're still around. So we go over here, we have shark teeth, fossilized shark teeth. Huh. We have sharks today, they haven't changed a bit. Look at this one. We have seashells just like that. Haven't changed a bit. I scroll down more and we have a ginkgo leaf. The ginkgo tree hasn't changed a bit. Not a little smidgen. The ginkgo has remained exactly the same since its ancient ancestor. But let's try clicking on this list, said the list of transitional fossils right here. So we click on that. And what do we find? We find the list of transitional fossils, and lo and behold, we have images, cartoon images, artist renditions, all through the page. Where will we find a real fossil? So far we're finding images and cartoons and drawings, black and white illustrations, more illustrations, on the Wikipedia page, just when I think it can't get any weirder. I click on this little creature. I want to get a good look of it. There it is. Uh, look at that eye. Now look at my eye. I think we're related. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. This is this is the height of of, of, of why I laugh at evolutionists. It, this is pawned off as evolutionary fact. It, it's an artistic rendering and a bad one at that. What do they do? Just draw this out with pencil and then put it on the Wikipedia? This, is this a joke, people? This, is this a joke? I'm supposed to believe this? This is our ancestor? This is, this is in the title page of fossil. This is found in... List of transitional fossils. Fossils. List of transitional fossils. That's a transitional fossil? Evolution is a joke. This is a absolute joke. And you want me to believe this? You want me to drink this up? I mean... This is a poison Kool-Aid for you people. <laughs> this is, this is wish fulfillment. This is a fantasy. This is why I say evolution is a fairy tale for adults. Kona don't. 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 Say it with me. Conodont. 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 You know what? I, I, I'm expecting to see a bunch of conodonts on the back of, of cars as the, the new icon for evolution. Conodont. Oh, they're definitely growing. The religion of evolution. Speaking of the religion of evolution, I have stated that evolution has become a religion because if you touch it. If you touch this sacred cow, 
You will suffer the wrath of the atheists here on YouTube. Hey, Coach Thais. 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 Okay, so we've got that name down. Hey, Coach Thais. I, I couldn't even pronounce these things, and so I have to you know, use science to help me. But we move up to the top of Wikipedia's evolutionary fossil page, and there we have is the Hakewich Thias, right here. Hakewich Thias. It has no description, it has no relation, no status, Hakewich Thias, and appearance. Hey, what the heck? It, it, we don't even have that. But let's click on its name, Hakewich Thias, and it leads us over to another artistic rendering. Ah, uh, but we've got a movie, a movie about the Hakewich Thias. Walking with monsters, Hakewich Thias seen swimming, seen swimming. You, you can see the Hakewich Thias swimming because now with the science advances in digital artistry, we're able to bring to life bring to life the imagination of the evolutionary scientists. Pokemon, defenders of the world, walking with monsters. Pokemon, now in digital high definition. You can go back in time and see the imagination of the evolutionary mindset. We don't have the fossils, we don't have empirical evidence, but we have high definition digital renderings. Hey, Gwitch Thias! Pokemon! Hey, Gwitch Thias! Pokemon! Hey, Gwitch Thias! Pokemon! This is how science is done today. So, make a prediction. Take any two lineages that science considers related reasonably closely and give us some idea what sort of relationship we're looking for. Okay. Aaron, I'm gonna make a prediction. If we have a horse, which science considers related to the donkey. And we take these animals and we allow them to breed. They should produce a creature known as the mule. Now science has determined that the mule is sterile and cannot have offspring. So this testifies that there are limits to God's creation. He creates each individual kind and holds it within its boundaries. It can have small variations, but it will never be something other than what it is. A horse, a donkey, a mule. The mule will never be anything but a mule. This is the end of its line. On the Wikipedia page, the horse evolution is by far the most extensive um, explanation that they give as far as evolutionary transitional creatures. And they rely heavily on the foot, the hoof. This is the Ida of horses. Possibly four-toe horse. They put a fifth toe here, but none of these horses here have toes. They all have hooves. This is a picture of the ancient creature, nearly 50 million years old. Again, an artist rendering. But on Wikipedia, we have something that exists today that looks just like it a taper. And it's all about the foot. It's all about the hooves, people. This existing creature today, the taper, this is a taper baby, we have the horse, we have the donkey, and this is testable. The horse and the donkey will create the mule, but the mule is a dead end because of sterility. This proves that evolution doesn't work. Aaron, 
what you want me to do is to come up with something that's untestable. And if it's untestable, I can't do it, neither can you. Okay.